All right. On Point Equal Justice Coalition is about to interview Sandra Gresham uh, with the injustices that are done with her Clayton County Juvenile Court. Clayton County and Juvenile Court. And Commissioner Eldrin Bell. Commissioner Eldrin Bell of Clayton County, who was once ran out of Atlanta, Georgia, for his foulness. All right, Thanks here we much. here we go. All right. Hello, my name is Sandra Gresham, and I am coming to the um, equal point equal justice. We're gonna cut in the face, right? On point equal justice. On point. Okay. Hi, my name is Sandra Gresham, and I'm coming to On Point Equal Justice to for some help to help me to fight against government abuse. My name is again is Sandra Gresham, and I was a victim of domestic violence, and I'm also a victim of government abuse. My son's grandfather was is Commissioner Eldrin Bell, and he has used his abuse and, and authority to get to use um, to abuse me by preventing his son from paying child support. And the way he does this, the first time he had my children removed when his son was, his, na his son's name is Joseph Patterson. And he had my children removed to help them get, um, prevent him from, his son from paying child support. Now that I have my, and they fabricated and manipulated the system and had a lot of unlawful hearings and orders without my presence and they created things. They also changed my son's name without my approval. They did a, um, they, pre they, pre they obstructed justice when they prevented my children, well, the fathers from having to pay me child support that was owed us. They also um, abused my children. I have police reports showing that my children were abused. Um, and the director of DFACS, the judge Stephen Teske, as well as Commissioner Elgin Bell, all sits on the same panel. And now they are in the process of trying to abuse the system again. Now that I have a child abandonment warrant out for his, my son's father, Joseph Patterson, now I've been summoned to court in Clayton County again to, to do some jail time, they said for contempt when there was no contempt, when that, I was looking for my son, they had changed his name without my permission. They had someone else listed as the child's mother and the sheriff department in Bibbs County. And I also want to state, I'm a resident of Fulton County. When all this got started, we were a resident of Fulton County. My children were enrolled in Fulton County schools. We were lured into Clayton County on our bogus Christmas shopping spree. And now they have it where um, they manipulated the system, they created addresses and everything. And now they, are tr they even found a psychologist, they have people working with them to manipulate paperwork to make it look like it's legit. And so I have a warrant out for the, my son's father's arrest for March 9th, a probable cause hearing. And I just recently received a threat from my son's father saying that he was going to I know what he's capable of and that he's not going to pay me a penny. We're not going to get any of his money. And he was warning us. And a few days later, I got a summons in the mail to come to court in Clayton County, whereas I'm not a resident of Clayton County. My son's father is not a resident of Clayton County. He lives in Bibbs County. The only connection with Clayton County is my son's grandfather, who has complete control. And he, and if you don't do what he's saying, He'll find a way to make your job go away. Okay, so you took the war you took the warrant out when? On I took the warrant out on February the sixteenth when I tried to change my son's name back because it was changed without my permission before the Honorable Judge Hicks. He told me in Fulton County Superior Court that a name can not be changed of a minor child unless both parents are in consent. I was not in consent nor did I have knowledge that my son's name was being changed. So in that aspect I had to wait till the father gets up here and the only way I can get him to come to Fulton County is to build a child abandonment warrant. 
um, and hopefully I can get my son's name changed back to his birth name and as well as get the child support that's due him. Okay, so they trying to get you to pay 300 and how right. much? Three hundred dollars for contempt for talk, for um, identifying my son and telling the sheriff department where he was. I'm being charged. That was in Bibbs County. The, there was no contact. There was no hearing or anything. They had a hearing and an order without my presence, without the presence of an attorney for me. And on 